All right. Here is uh, Elon Musk's Utopia Company Town. I'd be really against it because there's too much traffic on, in that area already. Here he is saying that there's going to be Utopia down the street. Well, there already is one. We have dark skies. We have bald eagles. We have incredible soil and water. Why are you destroying an existing one to create one just down the street? With, with any kind of development like that, you have to go through the permitting process. And the county is not very strong on how they do the permitting. Personally, it is my wish that it does not get approved by Bastrop and that he does not get his own town in our county. To introduce a town that is controlled and centralized around a company and them controlling all of the families that live there and having to produce something as a product for him, that's, that sounds scary like old mining towns. And we know company towns didn't work. I know that we need more affordable housing. I have an adult child who is struggling to find affordable housing in this county. So I know that that is an issue. However, it's really sketchy to me that we're turning the clocks back and doing like coal miner town situation. I hope that the people who live in those uh, houses and in that community do not get tr stuck in the trap of the things that you saw in those types of, you know, planned communities for business where you can't buy anything and with, with your money except for the store. Or maybe it's just more convenient for you to go there and kind of make an insular community that basically they become your indentured servants because they have no way to have the mobility out of it. What I've heard is that like, say you lose your job, you have a month to get your family out of that house. That's terrifying. Yeah, it's like an additional level of control that you have over workers. And I think America, especially like American workforces, are just cucked right enough that I can totally see them basically advocating for this. Or at least I know for a fact that every Twitter blue user who's like trying to do a crypto play is going to be 100% advocating for it. While simultaneously uh while well, simultaneously never working there you know what i mean never working a day in their lives let's be real terrifying is being on an h1c visa getting laid off and having to leave the country in a month yeah i mean we do we basically do that with uh with what you just uh is the h1b isn't it uh with with work visas yes We've seen this in history before. We've seen it all over the world, including the United States. We know how this story ends. So I'm not saying that's what's going to happen because I'm not a mind reader. Did right-wingers just not learn about working conditions in the 1800s or what? Why are they okay with going back to that? First of all, right-wingers don't know anything, okay? Like, what do you mean? They just, they're, they don't know anything. They're right-wingers. They're conservative. If you're conservative, you're just like, uh, you know, you just don't really know anything. Learning is not a concept, okay? That's number one. Number two, capital owners look towards the 1800s and, and uh, their mouths start watering, thinking about how much they could potentially get away with undermining workplace safety, undermining labor, uh, uh, like labor protections. They, they look at that and they vie for a time. They can go back to that kind of thing. They want it. They look at they look at the the unearned freedoms of the current uh, American uh, labor pool, and they think we gotta we gotta do something about that. I'm not a fortune teller, but I will say that all the signs and symptoms of some. I never covered something else, but the national shooting was done by a trans woman, or is this just a talking point? No, it was a trans man. Okay. Not that it fucking matters, but everyone is literally misgendering the, the shooter, which, you know, he's a fucking school shooter. So, you know, uh, obviously you still shouldn't misgender the school shooter, but they're not only misgendering the school shooter, but they think that the school shooter is a uh, trans woman when, uh, when he was a, uh, a, a trans man, it turns out. This discourse is going to be fucking ruthless and brutal and awful for a little bit, and then it's going to go away and no one's going to care about it. But um, 
let's be real, for the time being, I'm sure this will be like uh, one thing that like right wingers can laser focus on. <coughs> yeah. The a it's an AFAB man, AFAB, assigned female at birth, a man that did the shooting. Bull crap going down are afoot. How will your your residents living in your utopia feel about living next to a 2,000 acre gravel mine? Do they really want to live near a great big hole? Do they do they want to have polluted water? Do they want to have dust in the air? Utopia sounds very scary. Like if you watch the Star Trek and such, yeah not good or read the books yeah the utopia is not usually hmm, at all what it's presented to be community notes on the tweet above this say elon the article is false the claim that elon is building a city in texas has been said to be false by elon oh thank god they put a thank god thank god he he said the article is false so now <laughs> so now twitter uh community notes saying it's false well, he filed for it. So did he just like file for it as a joke, as a meme? Like, what's up? Like, that's kind of silly, I feel like. <laughs> 